Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to Tuesday, the uh, 20th of November. It's a shocking 23 degrees out here, or minus 5 Celsius. Man, that's crazy. That's hurting cold. What do you dogs think, huh? Look out. I want to trip over you. Hey, check out one of the things Kelly got me for my birthday. Look at that. Nice, thick, heavy duty as heck stool. That thing's cool. <laughs> Love my little stools for working on stuff. You guys don't get me wrong. Not complaining about this cold. Because starting tomorrow, I'm supposed to warm up and turn rainy again. That gummit. I'd much rather freeze than uh, deal with the drizzly rain. But we gotta have it. It's a part of the Northwest cycle. <laughs> get no rain and things get all messed up yeah <laughs> all right mama you re-dyed to start a new day yep i was ready all right let's bust it out all right well little woman little woman it's a, hubby, hubby. <laughs> it's a whole lot warmer here it's over 20 degrees warmer here that's crazy yeah it's still cold yeah that's cold as at home though heck yeah well, I'm going to go down there and start my day, Ma. All right. All righty. I try to meet you at the water. All righty. Love All right. you. See you, bye. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Here's a uh, wonderful K1600 that uh doing a huge service on it. And this is a GTL as well. This one's getting a valve inspection, brake fluid. It's a it's a big service. I'll be, I'll be on this one a bit. This one's almost as, <laughs> time-wise, almost as big as the crash job on, on the other one. But in lieu of that, um, I need to ride the the one that, that had the tip over to make sure it goes down the road straight and all that stuff because I couldn't ride it before because of a big hole in the radiator. So we'll come on along and we'll take that for a quick rip. Let's go make sure she... Uh... Rolls down the road straight and all that kind of good jazz. You know what? I'm going to leave his cup out of the equation here. Because he's leaving it here until the uh, until that body panel shows up. I've had it down here warming up a little bit. Big old six cylinder. Sneak out that way. Yeah. Sure gives me a good old flashback of my CBX every time I hear one of these. Man, yet another beautiful day. Look at all the green that's still in those trees. And that's something. I need this is a big old motorcycle. Go to our orchards park here. So how's everybody's day going today? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope uh, those of you that aren't getting snow are uh, able to get out and ride. I was gonna ride this last night, but it was getting getting dark and cold, and I decided, nah, I'll just do it in the morning. Especially since he's uh he's just gonna leave it here. But if there's something weird, no way, you know, handlebars bent, you know, you never know what you're gonna feel until you drive one. But uh, everything seems absolutely normal. Met a couple of really cool spider folks today. I'm not gonna name your names, but they're gonna they got a couple of 2013s and the the one gentleman, his wife rides a 2013 Spider RT Limited. 
and the second gentleman does, but he rides a gold wing, so they're, they're gonna gang up on this one of these days, gonna set up a schedule and bring uh, the two spiders and the gold wing in for service during these slower times of the year. But they live quite a ways away, so it's one of those things they're gonna have to, uh, they got the park closed off. The little kitties ain't gonna like that. But anyway, they're gonna drive them down and we're just gonna knock them all out at once. My son will almost certainly get, get the gold wing. He's good at them gold wings. and smooth. Feels like a feels like a K1600 GTL. Good old gal. Man, I'd like to just take off. This time of year, I always, I always that thought goes through my head. I just like to just not go back to work. <laughs> You're uh, really grateful it for any time you can get to ride this time of year, so those kind of thoughts go through your head. Whoa, what is this trucker doing? He's in a unique position there. I'll let him sort all that out, and I'll just step out the way here. That looks like Matt, our, one of our service advisors up there. Matt, what you doing in that truck, son? She's good to go. Minus a scratched up cover. But I gotta take all apart again. <laughs> so you know the trucker that was doing the crazy switching and carrying on out there? I'm really, really glad to see that guy show up. There's a box here. And it's a BMW box. Well, what's really important is what's in it. Yeah, baby, the first one. Let's get the top off. What do you say? Should we crack the shell on this thing? My old trusty Leatherman OHT. Ooh, she's a black one. Oh yeah, there's the different cylinder heads. Bodywork and stuff seems to be pretty much the same. Oh, but look at those heads. Yeah, see how the coil thing comes up the top. They used to wrap around and the wires went forward and back. I don't see a whole lot different on it. Body work wise, I don't see anything. I like the silver. It's kind of almost like the the uh, style exclusive with silver motor, silver swing arm. Oh, it's got the comfort seats. This probably is an exclusive. Just about bet you. Well, it's not a short chassis. I don't know what the code is for exclusive. Comfort Pro. I don't know. I can't read German. Anyway, let's crack her out of here right quick. Get a good look at her. There she is. In the flesh. Our first R1250. Now, other than the heads, even the motor looks the same. That is cool. That is really cool. I would say this is probably going to be the exclusive, what they call style exclusive. With the comfort seat and stuff on it. Yeah, definitely a different, different look to the to the heads and valve covers. Ship cam. Way cool. Alrighty. 
Well, does this look like familiar territory? Yep, the radiator's coming out of this one, too. These are a little, uh... I'm not sure what year this one is yet. I don't... Why do I not have the RO? I'm working on something I don't have an RO for. Oh, yeah, I do. Can't show it to you. 2013 K1600, but man, the bodywork stuff comes off of these so much easier than the new ones. Way easier. But once you're this deep, everything's pretty much the same. Then other than the hoses, it's held in with these little little unique clips here you just slide them out there's two at the top one down here at the bottom and out she comes you just gotta have everything else unplug the fan and everything else out of the way anyway as i go forward oh what i the main thing i came on you know the secondary drain plug his is stripped so i'm about to find out what task that that's gonna be man oh man i'm gonna have to let her let her drain here a little bit because see if I can get you a good reflection here because looking up in the hole there well it just soaks my mirror but the five millimeter allen that's supposed to fit it um doesn't fit that anymore I don't know what in the world he's done but we'll figure it out so I'll go ahead and do get the radiator off of it for now I gotta get to the valve cover drives me nuts for that 1250 to be sitting there and I can't do anything with it because I'm working on this but I'm down to uh, the valve cover area here see this is an air induction system it's got three reed valves and inject injects injects fresh air in the exhaust uh, system to you know uh, uh, for emission controls but a guy at school these this plastic tube you always snap them when you take them out, BMW wants you to heat them up and then they just don't ever come out. They always break. So a guy at school says, oh, you can build a little tool to take the reed valve covers off and just take them off, all three of them off at once. And you don't have to worry about breaking that pipe. So I'm going to run upstairs and see if I can borrow. Well, they have to give it to me because I'm going to have to destroy it to make it work. You use one of those little um, bit kit you know, the little quarter inch bits and they go into a tool and it will what you do is you you cut it in half and you plop it down in this little tool this little flexi head thing and you can reach in there there's some in the back you can reach in there and get those screws for these read their t30s there's four on each cover so i'm gonna try that before I, we keep these tubes on hand but you know, if I can get away with doing it easier, because by the time you break it, you you you're sweating trying to get the thing off. So it'd be way easier to take the reed valve covers off. That's what the guys at school that had way more experience on these than I do. So I'm gonna try that myself. So I was able to get the AIS, the air induction system, off of the cylinder head. You can see the see the reed valves. It's a it's just fresh air induction, and I built a little tool. These see the little bit in the end there, and you know I tell you guys make sure you're using a good torque wrench on those the sump pan drains. We've gone through all this before. Let's see if I can hold my flashlight and the camera at the same time here. But uh, looks like I'm thinking he tried to get this thing out himself. And he was almost there. That's what it's supposed to look like. And it looks like he's uh, drilled the head of it off. I hope the head of that thing came out. I need to talk to this guy, make sure he got all the pieces out. So I was able to just take a punch and, uh, and just reach in there and whack it. And that knocked it loose. And then I was able to take a chisel and just very carefully etch, etch my way around so essentially, I was just on the end of the screw and turning it like that. But I got it out. And I got this out so I didn't break his AIS pipe. They always break. That plastic pipe breaks. But using that little tool, I was able to reach in there and get all of those loose. 
cool stuff. <laughs> By the dark of the moon on the 6th of June. <laughs> <laughs> so Still ain't got them lights fixed. No. They're probably gonna fix them about as fast as I fixed my windshields on my broke broke Honda. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's head north. So there's a little something something that showed up here last night, and Kelly and I ended up home when I remembered I was supposed to come pick it up. Hope it's not a birthday thing from one of you guys. I'd feel terrible to get it the day after. All right. <laughs> she comes stumbling through the door. She like freaked me out when expecting somebody to come in. But it was in the lock box. And it's something something from somebody. It's a something something. Yeah. Box door to get you. <laughs> she like freaked me out. When I come here, there's never anybody else here. And all of a sudden, it's banging and she comes through the door with a bang. About tripped and killed herself. Goofy woman. <laughs> Startled the heck out of me. Well, hello there, YouTube. So, while I was still sitting at the post office, I opened up uh, what it was, and uh, it's a birthday gift from Jonathan. Yes. And oh, dropped it. Thank you very much. This it's is way cool. Way, way cool. I'm, I haven't seen one of these in this color. I'm trying to get the thing opened up all the way, or I'd already bought one myself. So. Excuse me, sorry. Anyway, check this Harley hat out. Isn't that gorgeous? From Wisconsin Harley Davidson. I don't know if I can make that show up in the camera. Man, look at that thing. Look at the color of that. Isn't that beautiful? That is cool. I like how Harley, even, even the little badge at the very back, so cool man that is um, one cool color i wish i could wear these things at work but since we're know. not a harley dealer and we do sell indians it probably uh probably wouldn't go over really well i actually wore that one with the v and it's got like a skull in there and the gm goes what does that hat say <laughs> <laughs> of course they spot it and i'm like oh, i just it was in the back of the spy or whatever it was i had it at work one day but jonathan thank you very much sir yes that's so sweet. Very much appreciated. And then all the additional happy birthdays because, you know, the vlog is a day late. You're watching yesterday's vlog. Today. So, yeah, so a bunch more happy birthday things. Wow. That was yeah. way cool. Yeah. She is way cool. <laughs> yeah, that's one cool hat, Jonathan. Thank you very much. Sorry I didn't didn't grab it yesterday and thank you yesterday. But, uh. If we got it today, and I will cherish that, or I will be wearing that hat. Oh, boy. yeah, you will. <laughs> but, Mama, yes. you're going to roll out. She's having a something about when she gets towards Toledo. She has this hay fever attack every night, and it got her good tonight. Oh, I know it. She's like, ah, phew, ah, phew. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes, are you done yet? No, few more. <laughs> <laughs> we had to sit here a bit before we could even start the vlog. Uh. So, uh. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the ride and the little techie yeah. stuff. It was all about K1600s today. Very cool. A lot of K1600 stuff today. So if you like K1600s, today is your vlog. <laughs> today <laughs> is your day. But anyway, we're going to roll. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Wednesday or Thursday. She ain't going to make it. No. Nope. She barely mustered through. I know it. Sneeze is coming. But again, thank you very much, Jonathan. That's one cool hat. Way cool. Beautiful. All right. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. You guys take care. We'll see you now. Bye-bye. <laughs>